What is up you guys? It's Gabby Delise and on today's episode of I have a shopping problem I'm gonna show you all the shit I can't stop spending my money on. I really should just stop leaving my house because every time I leave my house I end up spending like $200 and it's not okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you a whole bunch of stuff that I have accumulated over the past couple weeks I've got stuff from Forever 21, Urban Outfitters, Gucci, and some makeup stuff as well. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get this shit started. Okay, so the first thing is from Urban Outfitters. And I actually wore this in my Seafood Boil mukbang. This was like one of the first things I got. But it is this one and it is this one shouldered crop top i mean i call it a crop top it's probably a bra though <laughs> uh yeah so it's definitely really short and but it's cute i really wanted something one shouldered so i'm glad i found that and it's really like stretchy and you definitely do not have to wear a bra with it which i love the next thing from Urban Outfit, I keep wanting to say Urban Decay, and I don't know why. But the next thing I got from Urban Outfitters is this cute little mini Adidas backpack. It's white and it just has like black. It's super cute. I love, I basically only wear backpacks, so I thought this was super cute and like sporty to wear. And I surprisingly got white. I never get things in white, but I just thought it looked really cute in white. So next, let's go to Forever 21. Um, I got this super, like, not really my style shirt. It's, like, super girly, but I got this, like, white. This part is, like, smocked fabric, so it's extra stretchy. And then it has like mesh sleeves. And then it like tapers at the bottom. So it's actually super cute. I got it because I love like square neck tops. You can wear off the shoulder or put it on the shoulder. I like it on the shoulder better. But yeah, I just thought it was like super cute and girly for once. So I got that. And then next, I, I've been like wanting a cowl neck shirt or dress so forever 21 had this black one it's got the like cowl neck right here and then yeah just like a plain black satin dress super cute what i envision with this because it's getting colder here in texas i'm envisioning this with like either heels or doc martens and then like a big leopard coat over it or like uh, a statement coat on you know you feel me you feel me so yeah now I just need to find a cute coat to go with that but yeah it's really cute on I love it it looks like it's simple but classy and a little bit sexy so next I have been wanting a corduroy overall dress for like three years now and I finally just said let me freaking buy one so it's like this mustard like a deep mustard color and it's got a cute little pocket up front and then it also has two in the back which is really cute um but yeah it's like a corduroy so it feels like almost like velvet uh but yeah it's kind of short so maybe size up but Maybe that's just me because I have a fat ass. <laughs> oh, dear God. I love it. It's cute. And this is definitely probably, definitely probably, this is probably going to be like my Thanksgiving outfit because it just gives me like hella fall vibes. And another fall vibes thing I got is this really freaking cute orange striped dress it's like a short little bodycon dress short sleeved and then it has like a little mock neck up on the top 
but I just thought this was so cute. It's navy, red, and like orange and white stripes. Hella fall, right? This is so fall and I thought it'd be cute to wear like on a date or go to a pumpkin patch. But what I really want to wear this with like crew, like roughly crew socks and my filas. That would be so cute. Um, next thing from Forever 21 I got was this rhinestone belt. Oh my god, do you see that glitter in the camera? Ooh. But yeah, and it just looks like this. I just wanted to get this to like spruce up when I just wear like jeans and a shirt. I thought I'd give it some pizzazz. It's really cute. Dude, what the hell? Do you see that already? I've worn this literally one time and this shit is already like fucked up. Ugh, that's so shitty, man. Whatever. Moving on. I've been like obsessed with wearing berets. I don't know why. So when my dad went to France a few weeks ago, I was like, hey, can you buy me berets? So he got me two. I wanted like just a plain black beret. And then I also was like, get me, well, I wanted a cheetah one, but he forgot. But he got me this cute, it's black, but it's like furry. So that's going to be really cute with like a nice sophisticated coat. As if I have that. But like, it would be cute with this because it's furry. That's all the stuff I got from like Forever 21 and Urban Outfitters. Um, but I wanted to show you some other stuff. So I got a Cowboys jersey. This one is Dak Prescott. Um, actually, I didn't even buy it, obviously, because jerseys are freaking expensive. But my sugar daddy did. So I just wanted to include that because like, yes. I drink beer. I watch football. Go Cowboys. Get a home run. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not that dumb. Yeah, I've actually, my boyfriend's been like making me watch the Cowboys game. So now I feel like I'm part of the gang and it's actually not that bad. It's kind of fun. I just do it to drink and scream. So <laughs> another thing that my sugar daddy got me is something from Gucci because I'm a fancy bitch now. I've been wanting Gucci slides forever and he got me these. I actually got him uh, him a pair for Christmas last year so he felt like he had to return the favor and buy me a pair but yeah these come in men's sizes so make sure you're getting the right uh, size you know if you want to buy some Gucci but I literally love these these are my new favorite slides literally wear them all day every day with socks without socks why was that necessary to say I don't know but yeah now let's move on to some new makeup um well this isn't makeup but <sighs> uh so I usually I had like it, I'm not even going to try to explain it because it's really hard. So my last makeup bag I had, just randomly one day, I open it up and there's literally a baby cockroach in it. It was dead. But I'm like, Aah! So obviously I had to throw it away immediately. And I did. So I went on Amazon and I got this makeup bag. So freaking damn that looks so bomb but yeah it's like it's like a fake Louis Vuitton pattern but it's freaking cute anyway even if it's not Louis Vuitton so you and it's really big which a makeup bitch like me who likes to beat her face needs so you just open it up and then it's red on the inside, which is literally the whole reason why I got it. Like Louis Vuitton on the outside, red on the inside. Are you freaking kidding me? So cute. 
But anyway, it has like this flap where you put all your makeup brushes. And then it has this like secret compartment right here where you could put like a palette. I keep my eyelashes in there. Or, and then you just have like a whole bunch of space in there. And I freaking love it. It was like 20, 25 bucks. I don't really remember, but it was so worth it. And this bitch is durable. And it has a handle, which I love because sometimes I just like to carry this around. Like when I go to my boyfriend's house, I'll just carry it instead of trying to shove it into a bag. So now I got some things from ColourPop. Um, so I was actually going to do like a whole pink space cowboy look for Halloween, but I ended up not doing it because I wanted to save it for lights all night, which is a rave. So I'm going to wear that outfit to lights all night. So I decided to save it because I didn't want to like ruin this surprise. So it's going to be like a whole, like I have literally everything. I have my outfit. I have the pink long wig and then I have a pink light up hat, cowboy hat. So I wanted to do like a whole pink makeup look with it. So I ended up getting the BFF mascara in the pink color. So that's what it looks like. I honestly, I don't know if it's going to show up. I'm like kind of nervous. I'm not going to put it on now because that would just ruin my shit. But yeah, I got the pink one. I'm excited to try it. I don't think I've ever used a color mascara. So it should be pretty interesting. And then also from ColourPop, they released sponges. So obviously I had to try it. So it comes in like this little box and so it's like in this like cute little peach peachy pink color so feeling it yeah it's pretty soft boing 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 why am I such a child oh my god so yeah it's actually pretty soft and it's like really smooth I feel like this is actually going to be really a really good sponge and it's like a tenth of the price of a beauty blender so it's going to be worth it in my eyes. So the other day I went to the Grapevine Mills Mall and I literally haven't been there since I was like literally seven but I was there and there's this store there called Miss A. Everything in there is a dollar. And then it's like cute, like this is what it says. Supporting education, cruelty-free makeup, dollar makeup and accessories. And they support animals too. So I went in there and I was like, okay, let me check this shit out real quick. So I go in there and it's like literally a dollar store, but for like beauty and makeup so I got some shiz so I really came in there for like lashes because I needed some new ones um so I got these lashes now these are actually like the premium ones so these were two dollars not one but that's okay they're really cute I think these are like the most like oh shit so then I went to like their hair clips. So I remember telling you guys that I got um, a $6 pearl hair clip and I was like, I'm not doing that shit no more. So I went to the hair clip section and I got two of these cute like purple uh, holographic ones to match like that. So it's going to be really cute. And again, they're a dollar. You literally cannot beat it. And then I've also been wanting like the tortoise shell hair clips. And it comes with stars up here. So I was like, oh my God, that's literally perfect. So yeah, obviously I had to get two of them because I have issues. But yeah, I got those two. And then, so this wasn't a dollar, but... I have been looking for a brush tube forever. Like I 
I just didn't want to order it off Morphe because shipping is so expensive on Mor Morphe and I'm just like that like free shipping type of bitch. I'll spend 10 extra dollars to get the free shipping rather than just pay five dollars for the shipping you know you feel me so they had these brush tubes with oh shit that's upside down but they had brush tubes with and it comes with 10 brushes for ten dollars so i got it mainly for the brush tube but i got 10 free brushes with it so it's basically just like an eye brush set that's what they all look like you know you have a whole bunch of blending brushes you have an eyebrow brush with a spoolie on the end and they have like pencil brushes and like really detailed brushes so and upon upon feeling them they're actually really soft like it's definitely worth a dollar that's all I'm saying so I'm really happy about that because now I now I can be like a cute little makeup artist and have my own brush tube and then so if you spend like $15 or whatever they give you a free gift now it's not like this is the best gift ever but they gave me a free like bag of cotton squares I thought that was pretty cool it's cotton squares but like shit is free so I only have a few more things and these are just like miscellaneous I items so I know it's not Halloween anymore but during Michael's like Halloween sale I saw these freaking skeletons and I just had to buy them so this first one it's a praying skeleton look how freak like that is so cute and, and then this other one is like yoga meditate a uh, meditating meditating I mean I know it's not Halloween anymore but like I'm still gonna put this out like when I move out I'm definitely gonna just plop these up on the banister you know like a meditating and a praying skeleton seriously so cute and they were only like six dollars on sale so yeah I had to buy them they were so cute I was searching on just like looking up random stuff on Etsy and then I had come across this uh, acrylic water bottle but it looks like a little milk carton like you know those boxed water uh waters but yeah it's just like that but it's acrylic and clear and I was like oh my god I'm a trendy bitch ah! I'm so obsessed with it and what's even better I thought it was just like this thing to open it and I was like damn I can't put ice in it but this top part actually swivels open so you can put ice in it so I was like this is so cute I love it I drink this more than my Starbucks cup now um, but I had an idea that I kind of want to DIY so I want to like do Louis Vuitton decals all over the bottle I feel like that would be so badass and I mean I'm kind of scared to do it because I suck at crafting but if I end up doing it you guys will definitely be seeing it soon or maybe just follow me on Instagram because I'll probably be posting it there all the time and then last thing is probably one of the most important items and that is a reusable straw I got this off Amazon they're literally so cheap I got two for like seven dollars and it comes with this awesome clip so like what I do I have one on my um, keychain and then the other one I'll just put on my purse like this so that I'll always have it and it's just super convenient to have the clip and so it comes in like a little case that looks like airpods so it's kind of incognito but you just flip this up and then your silicone straw is folded up in there and then boom shakalaka you have your straw so I love it I've literally gotten everyone I know 
to start using reusable straws. So yeah, you don't have to get straws when you're at a restaurant, when you're at McDonald's, when you're at Taco Bell. So yeah, you don't have to use plastic straws anymore. And like, no one likes paper straws. Like, I don't want my freaking straw to disintegrate by like the third sip. So that is everything I've accumulated over the past few weeks. Um, I hate to say that another haul won't be coming soon, but I already have one planned. So my next haul is going to be a big, giant Shein haul. I want to test it out. I want to know what the fuck is up, Kyle. And yeah, we're just going to, you know, test, get some stuff from Shein and see how they work out. So anyways, give this video a like if you enjoyed it or if you like any of the shit I got. And make sure you subscribe before you go, ho. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.